Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will discuss about my PhD interview experience at IIT Bombay and uh, I will mainly focus on the technical part. I have made a separate video on the introduction part so you can check out that video and the uh, link is in the description box. Now my interview was in chemistry department but if you are from any science background then please continue with this video because you will definitely get some idea or help which you can relate to your field. So once you got selected for the interview then they will notify you via mail. After that you have to do some formalities like documentation and all stuff. Also that mail carry a link of the Google form. In that form you have to fill your details and uh, at the end of the mail you have to select one panel in which you would like to appear for the interview. For example I am from chemistry department. Now chemistry is mainly divided in three parts like organic, inorganic and physical chemistry. So you will find separate panel for the all parts in any institute and same thing is applicable for the any department of the science. I have selected an organic chemistry panel. So in this panel you will find all the professors whom are doing their research in the different topics of the organic chemistry. So in the interview you have to face this selected panel and your technical part of the interview will be on this particular topic. So in the Google form give priority to those panel in which you are interested to do your research work and uh, they will also provide a list of the all professors under this particular panel via mail. And you can also check out this thing through the website of this institute. Now I had appeared for the organic chemistry interview. So in the next part of the video you will find all the organic chemistry questions which were asked at IIT Bombay interview. And please watch this video till the end because at the end I will share that how exactly it feels before during and after interview with some tips. So stay connected. Now if your interview is online then don't forget to carry blank paper and pen and uh, if it is offline then they will provide you these things in the interview hall. So my interview was started with the introduction part and uh, then they were trying to make me feel comfortable through some non-technical questions. After that one of the professors started with this question. He asked me that uh, how can you process this reaction. Then just looking at the reaction I was not getting any idea about the process of the reaction. So I asked that sir can I take few seconds. He said yes you can. Then I started looking at the reactant and the given condition. So if you look at the reaction conditions then reflux and benzene as a solvent given and in the reactant part tocyl group is present which is a good leaving group. So to proceed this reaction further here must be presence of nucleophile and benzene can't be act as a nucleophile because it is a solvent and nucleophile is missing in this reaction so I was still confused. After that he said that look at the phenyl rings and then I could strike that he is talking about NGP reaction. It means neighboring group participation and then I simply asked him that so are you talking about NGP reaction he said yes. Then he told me to proceed this reaction through its mechanism. So I think the mystery part of this question was this close form of the phenyl ring and he wanted me to guess this reaction. Then I started by writing the phenyl ring in its open form and then attack of pi electrons of the phenyl ring at anti-bonding orbital of the carbon and OTS bond followed by leaving of the OTS group and then this type of intermediate is formed. Then he asked that why did you make a three member ring? There is also possibility of four member ring. Then I said yes sir here two types of product can be formed. First is this one and second is this one. But it is proven that three and five member ring are thermo dynamically much more favored over 4 and 6 membered ring and that's why I have given priority to 3 membered ring over 4 membered ring. Then he said ok correct and uh, asked me about the name of the intermediate form. Then I said sir this phenyl ring is getting positive charge so we can call it as a phenonium ion. After that second professor started with this question. He gave me this reactions and uh, asked me that what would be the first step of this reaction. So after looking at the reagent it is obvious that sodium amide either act as a nucleophile or base. Now here in the reactant electrophilic center is missing and alcoholic proton is present which is highly acidic. So I said so abstraction of acidic proton of alcohol through given base. Then he asked me that which part of base will abstract this acidic proton. So I replied that NH2 group carry negative charge so it is electron rich and because of that reason it will abstract the acidic proton. Then he asked me that have you heard of thermodynamic and kinetic products. I said yes sir. Then he said in the given product A and B which one is thermodynamic and which one is kinetic product. I replied product A is kinetic and B is thermodynamic. Then he said ok on what basis are you saying this. I said on the basis of given conditions. Then he asked how. Then I said if we look at the product A then it is forming at low temperature and the kinetic products are favored at low temperature and product B is forming at high temperature which is thermodynamically favored. Then he said that is true but apart from the given conditions how can you say that product A is kinetic and product B is thermodynamic product. Then I said so on the basis of its stability thermodynamic product is much more stable as compared to kinetic product. So if you look at the product B then it is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound and it is stabilized through the resonance and this thing is missing in product A. So we can say that product B is more stable out of these two products. Then he said ok and uh, asked me that uh, can you show the mechanism of these two reactions. So I started writing mechanism something like this. So first step is abstraction of this acidic proton through NH2 and then uh, formation of negative charge on the oxygen 
oxygen and then delocalization of this negative charge after that work up and formation of product a now in the second reaction one step is additional which is the rearrangement of this negative charge and then work up and formation of product b then i said so on the basis of its mechanism we can also differentiate these two products so in mechanism one reaction steps are less so we can say that it will form faster as compared to reaction 2 and rate of kinetic product formation is faster as compared to thermodynamic product then he asked me about the ir spectroscopy so he asked that uh, can you differentiate these two products on the basis of its ir spectra i said yes sir on the basis of its co stretching frequency we can differentiate these two products then he asked how so i said product b is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound and alpha beta bond is delocalizing in the anti bonding orbital of co means pi star orbital of the co and because of that reason co bond length is increasing and on the basis of this equation we can say that co stretching frequency is inversely proportional to the bond length of the co so here bond length is increasing it means stretching frequency will decrease and co stretching frequency of product b is less than product a because of the resonance then he asked that uh, can you tell me its values i said yes sir normal carbonyl peak is appear at 1700 cm inverse so product a will show co bend somewhere around 1725 to 35 cm inverse whereas in product b co bend will appear at 1685 cm inverse he said okay good explanation and that's how my 25 minutes get over because my interview was in slot and uh, they have provided each of the students 20 to 25 minutes Well it was my first PhD interview so I was bit of nervous before the interview but uh, once interview was started all the nervousness were gone because I had decided before the interview that I have to give my best and for that I need to be confident during the interview so after 5 minutes of the interview I was kind of enjoying the interview and forgot about the time I don't know how 25 minutes were passed and uh, after the interview I was quite satisfied with my performance I think you are feeling the same so just be positive and be confident now here is small tip from my side at least prepare 3 to 4 topics really well because sometimes they asked for the topics which you have prepared although they didn't ask me but it's good to be well prepared so that's all for the today's video and i hope it has helped you somehow and please don't forget to like share and subscribe it will motivate me for more videos thank you